Hello everyone, Risky here, back with Emily, and you know, let's follow the magical door that opens on its own. And yeah, you can't go through this door. Oh, and the door has no doorknob. And oh, things have changed. What is that, paint? Pure linseed oil. Ooh. It worked. I'm in another one of Jeremy's streams. Emily stepped out into the humid night and found herself recognizing the Lafayette Cemetery. She hadn't been here for years, she thought, and in a way, she still hadn't returned. This was something not quite the same. Hoping she would soon get to see her uncle, she set off to find the chapel mentioned in his book. Now, there is an area in this place that we missed with our detective, and we are definitely going to explore it today. But this area has more significance towards her and her family, so I'm assuming we're going to get a little bit more dialogue out of her. I'll say the last time we were here, there really wasn't anything in this first little area. It was so kind of plain, I was a little suspicious. It looks to be the same. But let's see what she has to say about when she walks in here. It's been a while since I visited the family tomb. I hope it's in a better state than the real world. But, yep, we find out that her family has more uh, political or social importance than we thought, especially when we play as the detective. Because, like, whose normal family has this crazy-ass crypt that you can walk into and have some, probably their, like, I don't know, grandpa, or maybe, I'm assuming her grandpa, maybe her dad, maybe great-grandpa in here in his own tomb with his face at the top? Wild. Of course, then again, they got some fancy-ass statues chilling out here. Yeah, let's go exploring. Give me the goodies. Oh, a little shortcut. Hold on, shotgun shells. Oh, well, hold on. Let me reload. Definitely going to get attacked here. You know, do we even need the shotgun here? That was probably a waste of uh, pistol rounds, actually. I think it goes one pistol, one shotgun, one melee hit, and they're done. The Blessing. A rustic plate adorned with lost allegory. What's this? Something fancy. What's that for? There we go. Pretty simple. We get the sledgehammer. And there we go. Got rid of the, the fancy enemy. There is a Molotov here. I wouldn't go for it, though. I'm pretty sure he's going to hit you before you're able to get it. Um, but he does draw your eye away. So let's make sure there's nothing fancy. Another one of those weird statues. Someone got paid. I'll tell you that. Like, someone's out here making those. It was the chapel where Jeremy had promised to mourn the mysterious Perosi. Maybe soon she would be able to talk to her uncle and have him end this madness. She just needed to find a way inside the chapel. Pretty simple. We'll come back here once we get all the items we need. 
Doors locked. There we go. Okay. Yeah, don't get scared by these. Like, the, the only part of this game that's, like, semi-scary is just the jump scares. That's it. Like, other than maybe a jump scare here and there, a crow, you know, spooking you, there's really nothing going on. Of course, this guy, we, we want to kill people in here. Um, that water will slow you down. It's kind of like a mini trap. Let's see, we know there's another one. And just make your life easy. And then we'll explore in here. There might be some pistol rounds or something. These guys over here, it's another one of those sections where you can sneak around, avoid them. Um, they're not really that difficult, so it's in your best interest just to save some ammo. And like I said, trap. This water's a trap. Yeah, and like most of the times what you want to do is you kind of want to wait for the guy. You don't really have to though. Especially if he's going to take forever. I get the shovel though. I think he's finally coming. The only guy you gotta watch out for is this one. That totally missed us. And then once you get around him, just run. There's no reason to stay here. We got very lucky there that that one guy didn't see me. It's blocked. But yeah, that's the only problem. You can't go back. I mean, you you'll be able to go back that way, but you won't be able to go through here. Which becomes a big problem because the place we missed was right here. Should actually get attacked by somebody. And we'll wait. Oh, the crucifix. That's right. I forgot all about it. But yeah, we want to go in here this time. I thought this was the way to go because it leads us right back here, but it, it's not. Alrighty, let's see what we missed. Okay, so there's quite a few things here. A lot of pistol rounds. And hell, so there's actually not an item here. I thought there would be an item. But there's just some resources here to kind of get you back on track. Okay, I feel a little bit more, like, glad as we played as Detective Carnaby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we got two passageways we can take. Oh, wow, this one's actually... Oh. We're going to use the pistol. There's a lot of pistol rounds chilling about, so we can waste some. Bam. There we go. We actually picked the wrong side. If you come in through the other way, you'll be able to pick up a Molotov, throw it at him, and, you know, take your time getting rid of the guy. Shotgun shells and a brick. The omen. 
a rustic plate adorned with oh yeah same as the other one yeah don't get spooked by this guy I don't think there's any reason to kill him this is kind of like a waste of ammo And this just leads us all the way back up. Yeah. He gets in. Definitely pick that up. Okay, yeah, I got kind of stuck there. Another enemy pops in. Oh, I missed. We could uh, get the crucifix here, but we have so much ammo. Yeah, but easy peasy, no problem. Let's go pick up those uh, pistol rounds over here. This makes it a little bit easier later on. Oh, five. Wow. Do we need health? I don't know if we do, but I'll take a little drinky poo. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the only problem I have, I forget what door did that guy break in. I'm guessing that one right there. Okay, I'm almost like, hmm, where does this door go to? Act the way we can. Okay, yeah. The only part of the game I really dislike right here. A lot of, uh, a little bit of hate for this area. I feel like I'm missing ammo. Also, this door, too, it's kind of like you don't know how to open it. I mean, you kind of do, but there's no, like, paper that tells you an easy way. Huh. This has got to line the marks. <gasps> Everything's changed. Our way out has been blocked. Now we got to face a horde. I do like this though. Spooky. A lot of heads everywhere. A lot of dangerous things going on. And your goal, really? Just don't stop. Only guy I hate. Run. Oh god, he's right after me. But there you go. I hate that part because you can easily get stuck on the enemies. It's just it's just terrible. And that's why that little area we could go to to get some more ammo and shotgun shells, it's a little important if you're running low because you need uh, ammo. That or you need to try to bait the guy out of that area and then get around him, one or the other. But the sacrifice. There we go. And here, there's a little hidden low area just a place to kind of replenish your goodies. I'll take the health, though. But yeah, I think that's the only problem this yeah. game has with its uh, enemy group is that they can easily block you where you kind of get stuck on them. And sometimes they'll uh, do damage to you just by, like, walking into you. 
So you're just there like, why did this happen? <sighs> like the amount of times I'm just like, why am I getting hit here? I made it out. I do have a question though. Can we get over here as detective? Uh, there's yeah, this door's locked too. I want to know if we can get in here. Oh God! Like, are we just supposed to see her dead in there? We're never able to go in there. Oh, Cassandra Bugard. So we know when she died and everything. You just have her thrown in here, not even in the casket. I guess you're supposed to just walk over here and see her dead. You're not supposed to be able to interact with her or anything like that. That's a little bit unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Maybe there'll be a DLC that goes more into depth. Hmm. So now, when it comes to this one, uh, we actually do have it in here. Right there. So as you can see, the right there in the middle of the book, the little wolf or fox thing, the hands up, and then the omen. No, that's not right. Emily, is that you? Jeremy. What are you doing here? But you sounded so miserable in your letter. I've come to take you away from here. I can't believe I made such a foolish mistake. All I wanted was for you to stay away. What do you mean? I bargained with the dark man. A pact to keep New Orleans safe with my own life as tribute. The dark man isn't real, Jeremy. There is nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? How do you still not trust my words? Fine. Then let me help. Don't be foolish. He will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. I don't care. I'll find a way. I have my own talisman and I know about Tarawea. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't speak. Who's in here? Show yourself. You know who, Emily? He took your grandfather. No, I mean it. Who's in here? I can feel someone's in here. Emily! Tarawea, why do you want to go there, Jeremy? My everything. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again, perhaps in Tarawaya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. Luggage key. I need to find out more about Jeremy's pack with the dark man. He meant to go to Tarawaya. Maybe there is something there that would help. And let's look at our objective. 
Despite suffering the Hardwood curse herself, Emily never thought she would be seeing the dark man manifested in front of her eyes. To Emily, the curse was very much a psychological condition and not something that could suddenly step into a physical world. What did this mean? Could her own personal demons take form? Surely the only way to get any answers would be to find a way to the place Jeremy so desperately wanted to go. She needed to go to Terrawea. You know what the sad part is? So, like, it runs in their family. So what this is, or what they have, is a uh, psychological disorder that is, you know, genetic. She was beautiful. I wonder what happened to her. Perusi's fate remained a mystery to Emily. Was she a part of Jeremy's story, or did she maybe have her own? And we'll never know. That's why I'm assuming there's going to be a DLC that maybe goes uh, further in depth. But who knows, you know, we'll never know. We'll have to wait. So we need to go to Jeremy's room, it's all the way at the end. I don't think we need to go in these rooms, but there might be something new. Uh, let's see if there's anything in the... Uh... Oh, there shouldn't be anything new in here. Yeah, no one's sitting there. Strange. Let's just go in his room. That's what we have the key for. Nothing new in here. Barlow lens, or Barlow lens. A lens that can be fixed to amateur telescopes to increase magnification. It's a telescope lens. Well, why would he lock it in here? Jeremy had found a way to enter Terrawea, but he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start again. But she never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons, and she died suddenly one day without warning. Holding the telescope lens in her hand, Emily suspected what it was, at least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to see. Curious what she would find, she felt eager to put the lens to use. I'm assuming Perosi died because it stood in the way of what others wanted. Because I guess maybe she actually truly cared about Jeremy. And you know, they couldn't have that. Okay, actually, that study, is it on this floor? It is, okay. Those crows are just chilling out there. I wish I could be a crow in this game. They seem so peaceful. They're just chilling, having a good time. Nothing in here. I'm just gonna explore in here just in case. Yeah, always gonna flip them books. This one's weird because you gotta like use two of them. There we go, and then zoom in. Oh! Now we find ourselves in uh, a different world here. We have a one, another puzzle. Not too difficult, just make sure to put that one in the middle, and then you just gotta line up the 
the circles. Let's see here. Nine four one. Wait, what's going on? It, it's entering the numbers by itself? Okay, uh, great, so where is that? And we've been there before? Was this dream of Tarawea without a catch? A place for rest and comfort. Is it? I guess we'll soon find out what secrets lie. Okay, so what is the fastest way? I'm guessing upstairs. Actually, I think, and then just turn here. Yeah, so definitely as Detective Carnaby, we definitely meet uh, one of the girls here. Like, I know for a fact. Because we've come in here too many times without seeing anybody. Are these new? Yeah. Always check these. Always. There's a slight chance there's some ammo and whatnot in there. Even though we've been really unlucky. And here we are. With the rot. Ah, here we go. And now the door is changed, but we're going to stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the links below. Next time we'll go through the door to a uh, peaceful place with a, um, a little catch.